a lot of shit comes up that people would want to vote on, like the bailouts, the war, all, all thing, things of this nature. There's a lot of things that people would like that's going to affect us. We would like to vote on this, but you don't get to vote on it. You get to vote on a representative. These people are going to represent you once they get in, into office. And think about some of the laws that are in place that protect corporations. Think about some of the laws that, that are in place that fuck people over every day. They wouldn't be there if people were voting for them. We all have this, this desire to have someone lead us. We all have this, this feeling where we need someone who's smarter and wiser, who represents us. You know, and when you're really fucking dumb, the problem is really dumb people, they get a say in everything too. And they're, they're subject to a lot of tricks. Mm -hmm. they're, subjects to, they're subject to nationalism. They're subject to these kind of ridiculous rah, rah, rah America speeches that don't say jack shit. They say nothing. It's all just this cheerleading fucking yeah. event. And they, they're subject to it. They, they can't help it. They're dumb. They, they don't know they're being bullshitted. They, they grew up around dumb people. They go to work with dumb people. There's no one in their family that's interesting or asks any questions at all. And they just get sucked right into it, man. This society is so greedy, we're willing to go to war. We're willing to go places and send these big metal machines that kill people and fuck people up just so we can make more money. And the way our society is set up, I mean, I've heard it argued and argued successfully that our society runs on war. You know, it runs on the domination of uh, the other parts of the world. And literally, that's the only way you can control a gigantic chunk of the globe. You have to keep everybody down, you know, and that's what our society is based on. We can't be fighting over each other because, you know, this guy's like a million people die in Iraq and everybody goes, hey, as long as it doesn't happen over here. But it is, right. that is over here. It's just over right. here, over there. It's the same thing. It's some people you don't know that were born somewhere else who fucking got jacked. You get trapped in that whole idea of, you know, this is my team, these are my people, and, you know, someone fucking plays a country music song and throws up a flag, and I'm in. Fuck it. It feels good. It feels good to be in, right? It feels good. To be God bless America. It feels good. Singing yeah. around with a bunch of other people and you're all drinking. Yeah. We're the fucking baddest motherfuckers on the planet. Woo! And that's how people get recruited. It's a clusterfuck, man. These poor fucking kids, man. Could you imagine being 18, 19, being talked into doing this shit for a bunch of bloodthirsty motherfuckers who just are trying to get whatever they're trying to get over there, whatever the fuck it is, whether it's uh, lithium, you know, minerals in the mountains that they use to make cell phones, whether it's 90% plus of the world's opium supply. Yeah. 90 fucking percent? That is a multi, multi billion dollar business. And if you think these fucking industrialist cocksuckers that are running the world are going to leave that money behind, you're fucking crazy. Dude, they've got United States Army troops guarding Poppy Field. There's fucking so much heroin there. I mean, it's incredible. The fucking brother of the president of Afghanistan, his brother was selling heroin and getting paid by the CIA. I mean, god damn it. Heroin is absolutely addictive, okay? People who try heroin get hooked. Heroin is everywhere, okay? So you need to sell it. Someone's selling it. Who's selling it? I, I don't know, but 90% of it comes from this one place where we have to be to save our freedom. You, you can't criticize it. Because if you criticize it, you're a shithead. You don't appreciate the troops and what they're doing for you. And that's not the case at all. I just don't like the idea of these fucking people leading us in any direction where you need to sacrifice your life. Well, I don't believe it. I don't believe them. When there's been so many fucking lies. I mean, the more you look it up, the more... I mean, you go, go into any of the stories on the weapons of mass destruction before we invaded and, and compare them to what we actually know that they really knew when they said that. It's like they did it on purpose. They wanted to get in there for whatever fucking reason. And if it's some crazy, the world is going to end if we don't stop this, but we can't tell you shit, like, I would love to believe you. I would love to believe that the reason why you're, you're not telling us exactly what the fuck is going on is because you're really protecting us from some insanely evil thing that if we knew about it, it would, society would collapse. But yeah. our strong, brave, powerful leaders are going to guide us yeah. without our knowledge. Yeah. I would love to believe you. If you weren't all full of shit... We're going to have to 
to have to step back and, and look at it all in a different way. And I don't think you're going to get that from just voting for president and dealing with all this nonsense that we have right now with the fucking with the, the two party system. It's just, we're spinning our wheels. We're not getting any traction. This is all nonsense. It's the same nonsense with Obama that we dealt with with Bush. Special interest groups controlling what people say and do and what direction the country goes in and save us from the bad guys. Shut the fuck up, man. It's the same nonsense. Operation Northwoods was something that was plotted out during the 1960s, signed by the Joint Chiefs of Staff, where they were going to fake terrorist attacks on American civilians and blame it on the Cubans so we could go to war with Cuba. It involved a bunch of shit, like blowing up a jetliner. They were going to have a drone jetliner and blow it up and say that people died on it. And this was going to get everybody fired up about going to war with Cuba. They were even going to attack Guantanamo Bay. They were going to arm Cuban friendlies to attack Guantanamo Bay so that we would have to go to war with Cuba. This is like our own government. They plotted this out. This is like real shit. I remember when I, I saw um, JFK, the uh, Oliver Stone movie, and that was like part of the premise that JFK, uh, that Oliver Stone was um, was pushing in this film, is that they killed JFK because they wanted to stay in Vietnam because they were making a lot of money in Vietnam. And I remember at the time seeing that movie going, that is absolutely ridiculous. Who the fuck believes that? Are they going to start wars and keep wars going just so that they can make money even though it's not a real war, it's not a just war? Nobody wants to go to war. That's stupid hippie bullshit. Well, as I got older and I started investigating history, you know, from way back to Vietnam, to the Gulf of Tonkin, to all the shit that happened when Kennedy and Nixon were in office, to all the shit that happened with Reagan and the Contras in Nicaragua and the Sandinistas, and all the different various things that have happened in human history where it's clear that the United States is, you know, we're fucking around with all kinds of things all the time to make money. And that there's a bunch of people that are profiting off of war. And then they're not just profiting like a little bit of money here and there. You, you know, you look at like what's going on with like what, how much money Halliburton made from the war. We're talking like billions and billions of dollars. That's like real money. It's Eisenhower leaving office and he's giving a speech warning the American people about the, the power of the military industrial complex. You know, when you watch that, you're like, well, here is a sitting president who's leaving office. And but the most important thing that he wants to tell people is that you have to be careful because there is a machine here that wants to go to war. There's a business behind going to other countries and fucking people up and taking their shit. And they come up with reasons to do this. And they sacrifice American lives to do this. And they do it for profit. And it sounds absolutely ridiculous. It sounds absolutely outrageous that the greatest country on earth could be involved in something like that from the get-go. But yet, that's what history says. That's how it points. It points in that direction. It points in that direction that it's going in. And the councils of government. We must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. We must never let the weight of this combination endanger our liberties or democratic processes. Tower 7 disturbs me the most. That Tower 7 just went whoosh, just like a controlled demolition. And everybody's like, yeah, but it had holes in the building. And you see the hole in the building? Yes, I see the hole in the building. But wouldn't it fall towards that hole? Why is it falling like that? That doesn't make sense to me with Tower 7. The way Tower 7 fell, it just kinked in the middle and fell down free fall speed Almost. I mean, everybody like they'll they'll nitpick at you. Oh, it was one tenth of a second slower than free fall. E even if it was just close to free fall, that's crazy. There was no resistance. It just gave up. Why wouldn't it like wiggle and collapse towards where it ja got jacked? It just it just seems like a controlled demolition. That that bothers me.